All right, welcome everyone. Uh, today, today's video is gonna be a quick one. I'm gonna go over kind of my typical trout setup. It changes from time to time depending on what I'm doing, but this is just gonna be my typical trout setup here. Uh, so of course, rod and reel. Uh, this is the Alpha's Air TW I got on here. Uh, five pound Twitch Master Mountain Filament made by Veravis. And this is a Ryuki Spearhead. Uh, a lot of times I do, I start out with the minnow style baits. Uh, I put single hooks on them too. But a lot of times I start out with those single, uh, those minnow style baits, I try to get the aggressive bite. And then let's say if I'm brook trout fishing, they're not really, they either got caught a lot or like they're pressured. Then I'll, a lot of times I'll use like little ice jigs. I'll show you in a little bit with, with some plastic on there. Oh, that's generally, I uh, always use BFS gear for the most part. Uh, it, it suits my style of fishing well. If you've seen a lot of my content, you, you already know that I use a lot of that. Uh, bring a backpack. This is actually a hunting backpack. It's made by Sitka. It's the Apex. I'm going to go over uh, a review video on that in the future. It has a lot of nice little pockets here. I can put batteries for like the camera in there. Uh, it's hydration bladder compatible, so I can put a hydration bladder in there and drink out of that. And a lot of good pockets for camera gear, uh, wet weather gear, food, water, uh, extra clothing, because right now it's fall time, and I live way up in northern Michigan, so the weather, it could be 40 degrees in the morning and 70 degrees in the afternoon. So it's good to be able to have that uh, bunch of different layering systems that you can carry. And it, and it hugs around the side. It doesn't interfere with my waders or my, my net at all. So it stays compact. It doesn't flop around. Uh, the net I'm using, this is made by Handy Pack Net. It's made in the USA. It's made over in uh, Pennsylvania. It's really, it's really nice net. I have a review. I'll put that, I'll put that up above. But basically, you, just, you pull it out and it snaps open. It's more of like a small to medium sized trout net. Uh, if you get really big net, uh, trout, you can catch, you can still land them, but it's not ideal, and you don't want to be putting too much force on that handle. But I've caught trout up to like 20 inches in this thing with no problem. Uh, yeah, then it just folds up like that and just pushes right back in. Then you can keep going. I, I don't have any issues with this snagging on branches. I, I bust a lot of brush getting to like backwoods creeks and it stays pretty secure. I just have that on the belt. Uh, the waders I'm using, these are the, the Sims G3. I, I upgraded, uh, I was using some frog togs and they were a little short on me, but I, I definitely know that the, the cut is a little bit better. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time trout fishing, so I, I just figured I should just pony up, get a pair of waders that have good warranty and all that stuff. So that's what that's what I got. Uh, this is in the Ripperarian camo. Uh, most times they come in like a, a gray, like a two-tone gray color, and they, they fit good. I'm I'm six foot. Uh, I have a I think from crotch to the floor, it's like a 35 inch in, inseam. These are a large, long, and they actually fit really good. And I'm able to articulate my knee way up like that. So it's really comfortable, especially if you if you're doing a lot of hiking and stepping over sticks. It's definitely worth getting waders that fit. Don't get something that's a little bit shorter just because on sale, like I did before, is I had to lift, I have to lift up my leg like this, like up over stuff, and it was, it was really cumbersome. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't really like it that much. As far as uh, for tackle, uh, I'm pretty light today. As I, I'm just gonna be fishing, uh, I'm just gonna be fishing uh, those trout minnows. So uh, this is just a, this is a box I got actually from Walmart. It's made by Plano. I forget like the model number and stuff on there. But a, they have a little bit bigger one as well, so and it's double-sided. So how I organize my tackle, I just have one side is all. Just drop the lure. But one one side is all all my hard baits, and I kind of organize them by like, these like the creep aims right here. Like these two right here, for the most part, are my uh, sinking JDM baits for the most part, and then I'll have some floating ones in the middle here. Have some floating ones in the middle and then i got kind of like a random i got some floating ones in here i got some i'm kind of in a transition period right now this is a top water lure and then these are like some small ones i have in here like these little tiny floating this is a yuzuri snap mean this is an off brand got a spoon in there that itty bitty if you could see it in there the itty bitty euro tackle um it's like a lipless crankbait for the most part i bust that out once in a while and these are like my smaller hard baits i got the one of my one of my favorite ones this is the rapala cd1 i kind of catch a lot of brook trout on that and then these are the ryuki spearhead uh pretty popular like the 50 size like i have on my rod now but these are the smaller 38 size i just have one single hook on there these are really good for brook trout and getting into the skinny waters i have one in pink um and then on the other side it's pretty it's pretty uh, slim pickings right now is kind of going over uh, how i want to carry my soft baits a little bit different that's why i put a lot of my soft baits and then my snaps i have a variety of snaps in here i have some silent ones i got from bait finesse empire and there's a bunch of different other micro snaps and i got some spare single hooks in there uh, just in case i break one or i need to say take a hook off if i'm if i'm fishing around a lot of wood 
Then I got some small, some small little plastics in here. I'll, I'll pull one of these out for you real quick. So I like using these, like I said, like if the, if the brook trout bite is getting a little bit slower, uh, this is, this is just a, I think this is a, um, a clam ice fishing jig head right here. That's a tungsten jig head, uh, for ice fishing. And it has a small shank on there with a smaller size hook on there. And this is a Nico Bates, uh, pin straight. It's a really stretchy material. It's super durable. And I like that this will pound down right into the mud. So let's pretend like my finger is like the mud it's right down in there. And that, that tail just flops around in that slow current and a lot of times brook trout come crush that or perch or whatever you're fishing for. Uh, so that's why I like to have a few of those rigged just to, just to be safe because they are a little bit more snag prone. So I like to have two of them rigged up at any time just so I can hurry up and swap them through. And I have like some, sm some smaller grubs and I have uh, a lot of times, especially during peak brook, t brook trout season, I'll, uh, I'll, have a, I'll have a big pack of... Uh, I mean, a big pack. I'll, I'll fill up my pouch with a bunch of different Euro tackle baits. Those have been pretty good for the smaller baits, like the meadow craw, like a little tiny crayfish. And I just like to experiment with stuff. Uh, so that's that's how I carry all my lures. Uh, like I said, I change it out depending on what season it is or what I'm going for. And then I also carry line. Uh, this is Verifus. This is a Twitch Master line. I've been using this for a little bit, uh, just testing it out. I got a review video that's going to be coming uh, real soon on that. And then I also have... Connected to a little zinger here on the inside. So I just, just some, these are just some uh, cheap forceps I got from Walmart. Uh, they do the job. Uh, most times I don't need them if I'm using uh, those single, these single barbless hooks like that. Uh, the, it comes unhooked, the fish come out hooked real easy. And those jigs, sometimes with a jig, if they get it kind of in the meaty part of the top of their mouth, they don't have to use them, but most times I don't have to use them and I'll just use them actually a lot of times for just like, if I have to bend the hook slightly or do whatever. Well, that was a big acorn that just fell. But that's that's generally how I go out. I go out pretty light. Uh, most times I only bring one rod. If I need to bring another rod, uh, I, have a, I have a carrying case and I can actually sh shove it right here in the side pocket. And then I can, I can buckle them together like this. So I can carry another rod that way. Generally, I like to just carry one rod. Uh, and then I just kind of target what I'm going for, whether it's brook trout or if I get into like bigger brown trout or rainbow, then I'll make, use a different rod. So if you like these types of videos on how I just break, just simple little videos like this, breaking down how I get prepped for trout, uh, comment down, like the video. Also comment down below uh, what else you want to see as far as like how I set up line, lure, leaders, whatever it is. Just comment down below and I'll give you my thoughts on it.